With spring break coming up, we are tracking red tides showing up along our Gulf Coast. FWC just dropped its latest map here a few minutes ago. I want to show you, as you can see here, there are mostly medium to low levels of red tide along the Tampa Bay coastal region. Higher levels, though, as you move south along Manatee and then to Sarasota counties. Predictions have the blooms moving north, however, in the coming days. So what kind of impact could this have on your spring break plans? 10 Tampa Bay's Shannon Clo is joining us live now from Johns Pass, where, Shannon, some people there are already feeling the effects. Yeah, Josh, I can tell you it is unfortunate. We're seeing people coughing out here and experts telling me that it is very unusual for red tide to happen at this time of the year. But what I did today is I talked to people who hit the water every single day. So in case you have a vacation plan this should know it's really really hard to have a bad day out here lucky for captain jason porton he gets to experience this beauty every day working at hubbard's marina doing things like dolphin tours if you're out here on the water out here enjoying our beaches I think that's what the spring break appeal really is. Hubbard's Marina and so many other local businesses are preparing for spring breakers to pack our beaches this month. In general, we see a lot of different people. We see a lot of families that come down and we see a lot of younger kids that come down on their own. This year, we're also seeing red tide. Medium concentrations detected by FWC on coastal beaches like Madeira and Treasure Island. Being out on the water daily, I can tell you this, it is a daily fluctuation. Experts explain seeing red tide at this level during spring break is unusual. But well, what we're seeing in the last couple weeks is a major, major flare up. The worst that we've seen it since the hurricane. As a professor at Florida Gulf Coast University's water school, James Douglas tells me contributing factors are the conditions out in the Gulf. During red tide, there's a lot of dead fish. It's easy to step on a fish spine and, and hurt your foot. Uh, there's more bacteria than usual in the water from all the decaying fish. Many also experience respiratory issues like coughing. Strongly recommend to anyone who's coming on any trip, bring something to cover your face. If you do come out here, experts want to remind you to do your part because another factor that fuels red tide is human pollution. Keep this place pristine, keep it beautiful. So we can keep coming back break after break. And I'm sure you're wondering, well, what from here? I reached out to USF scientists. They tell me they work to forecast red tide the best to their ability. They believe that this bloom is going to stick around for the next three to four days, and they say it does have the potential to worsen. I'm live in Madeira Beach, Shannon Flo, 10 Tampa Bay.